Are you waiting for functional smart contracts on Casper? Well, seems another project was faster. Meet Pyran. It's a Casper fork that comes with smart contracts out of the box. But does it really matter? Don't worry, I'll tell you everything that you need to know. Let's go. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please ask yourself why and do it now. You really don't want to miss any of the next videos. Also, don't forget to join the Philprint Telegram community for exclusive alpha and discussions all around crypto. And it's completely free of charge. Link is down below. All right, what's up with Pyron? As you can see here, we had a crazy pump starting from mid of March, where it did more than a 3x within four days. It's still very new. It started out in mid of February this year, has around $35 million in market cap, and is not listed on too many exchanges, as you can see here. As you can see here, their Twitter account has not too many followers. Judging by the numbers we know from other great crypto projects, Pyron claims to be a decentralized Casper fork that integrates Blake 3 combining Black Deck and Ghost Deck with innovative smart contracts and a groundbreaking resource managing POW, meaning proof of work, and they're calling it PAIW. All right, that's a lot of information. What's up with that? Now, the first thing is Pyron is a Casper fork. And if you don't know what a fork is, it simply means that there's a fundamental change in a protocol. So the network cannot agree on implementing all new functionalities that are proposed. Therefore, the blockchain gets forked, meaning it gets split up. Then you have the original chain, in this case, Casper. There won't be any changes to Casper, but then there's an additional blockchain, in this case, Pyron. And as you can see here in this image, up to the fork, the old blocks, all the history of blocks of Casper will be also in the Pyron blockchain, but the new blocks will be different in Pyron than from Casper. This is also called a hard fork because there is a soft fork as well, where both the new blockchain and the original blockchain will be compatible after the fork. Now that we have sorted this out, next question is what is Blake 3? And it's nothing more than a cryptographic hash function. Casper, on the other hand, uses SHA-256, similar to Bitcoin. It's very well known. And these hash functions are important for proof of work blockchains as miners need to solve the hash to add a block to the blockchain. And why did they change to Blake 3? This is because Blake 3 blocks ASICs. And what is an ASIC? An ASIC is a specialized GPO for mining crypto. That means it's very efficient. All the big mining facilities use ASICs. Therefore, miners on Pyron will only be able to use normal GPUs. And this makes it more democratic, you could say. Then, of course, same as Casper, it is not a blockchain, but rather a block DAC a block decentralized acyclic graph. In my Casper video, I explained this in depth. Then for that, of course, it uses the ghost DAC protocol. Also got that from Casper. And what's really new is that we have innovative smart contracts built right into it. The developers of Casper teased us that there will be smart contracts at some time, maybe in one or two years. Just shows us it's not too important to them. And that's actually not too much of a surprise. Casper intends to be digital silver. It tends to be circulative. It really intends to be a digital currency rather than a store of value and it's not intending to be the next ethereum and therefore it doesn't have smart contracts built into it as i said it might change but that's not the main goal now pyron claims that their smart contracts could be used in DeFi, supply chain management peer-to-peer -peer lending gaming nfts real estate and so much more of course at this point these are just plans we have to see if this holds true if they're able to make it it would be quite big because we have all the amazing feature that make casper special most importantly Importantly, the block deck and the ghost deck protocol. And if this would flow into all of these sectors, this would be very interesting. Then the last thing that needs some explanation is their consensus mechanism. Of course, they're using also proof of work, but they brought a little bit of a twist to it with AI, meaning their consensus mechanism has AI synergies. And this is mostly to provide a new energy management system to increase energy intensive security measures and network security. So, so to be honest, it seems to me that they want to hop onto the AI narrative in some way, and therefore they brought AI into their consensus mechanism. It really seems they wanted to change some more things so that it's not too much of a copy of Casper. I mean, it's basically the same. It's just another cryptographic hash, Blake 3, then an altered proof of work. And of course, the main thing is that they have smart contracts right out of the box. Also, it's important to mention the smart contracts will be released in 
the second quarter of this year and the PAIW will be released in the fourth quarter of this year. Of course, what's important to mention as well is that forks in general don't do too well, meaning they don't replace the original project. At least I cannot think of a fork that did it. For example, a fork of Bitcoin is Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash. Then a fork of Ethereum is Ethereum Classic. Oh, I forgot, Dogecoin is a Bitcoin fork as well. Now, you can copy a blockchain, but you cannot copy its community. And I highly doubt that the Casper community, which is very strong, will just flow into Pyron and forget about Casper. Which means Pyron needs to build its own community. And therefore doesn't have the scaling effects that Casper already built. Talking a bit about tokenomics, it's also pretty similar. They had a fair launch without any pre-mine or sales. Pyron has a max cap at 1 billion coins. Also similar to Casper, it involves an annual halving. The first reward reduction will take place in May. 2024, so just when the smart contracts will be released. They also provide an emission schedule, which is presented the same way as the Casper emission schedule in an official PDF, so this screams fork as well. Then when having a look at the team behind Pyron, we just know that it's Claude, the founder and lead developer, Mike, founder and developer, Ido, developer and Alpac Man, founder, strategy and marketing. So more or less, it's just nicknames of six founders. They say they're doing this full time and there's also a handful of external developers and that they have years of experience in the space and also in leading non-crypto projects. But there's not more information about them and that's something I don't like too much. The founders of a good crypto project show themselves to the world so that you really know who's behind it. For me, these are subtle signs that this might be a rug pull. I don't say it is, but to me in general it just seems that it's more easy to do a money grab if nobody knows who you are. So we have to see about that. It gets way more interesting when we see the smart contracts actually being deployed in the second quarter of this year. Before that we could see a continuation of this massive uptrend. If and when we get the smart contracts, it might be a sell the news event, just saying. Don't forget to join my Telegram community, link is down below. If you're really looking for the next 100x project, Here's my secret strategy. These are the three pillars you really have to understand for that. Of course, this is not financial advice. Please always do your own research and due diligence. This was Free Prince for you. Until next time, crush the markets. Goodbye.